In a groundbreaking moment, an autonomous drone by W Autonomous Systems successfully landed on HMS Prince of Wales near the Cornish coast. This event represents the first autonomous fixed-wing drone landing on a UK aircraft carrier. This event reflects back to August, 1917 when for the first time an aircraft touched down on the deck of a moving ship. Squadron Commander Edwin Dunning landed a Sopwith Pup biplane on HMS Furious in Scapa Flow, Orkney, on 2 August 1917. The autonomous drone, launching from the Lizard Peninsula, delivered supplies to the aircraft carrier and returned safely. This achievement is seen as an essential milestone for integrating unmanned aircraft with F-35 Lightning Jets and Naval Merlin and Wildcat helicopters. The twin boom drone can carry 100 kilograms for up to 1,000 kilometers and requires just a 150-meter runway, slightly over half the length of UK's Queen Elizabeth-class carrier's decks. The broader goal is to use such drones in a UK carrier strike group in the coming years for transferring supplies between ships without launching traditional helicopters. Using drones is cost-efficient, reduces risks to aircrew, especially in bad weather, and ensures Merlins and Wildcats are reserved for essential tasks like detecting threats. Captain Richard Hewitt, commanding officer of HMS Prince of Wales, foresees operating autonomous drones as standard in future Royal Navy carrier strike groups. These drone tests exceed prior experiments with smaller quadcopters and banshee targets. The Cornwall trials mark the beginning of an autumn program to redefine naval aviation for Britain's largest warship. HMS Prince of Wales will be testing other aviation technologies off the Ouse's eastern seaboard until Christmas. That's it for today. Remember to subscribe to keep up to date on AI plus military developments.